Hey everyone, welcome back to Airbrush 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about airbrushing, having a great time doing it, and using your airbrush effectively, and saving a lot of time with miniatures. And this is part 42, how to paint light halos on hair, specifically chibi miniatures, using your airbrush. Hey Warbeds, welcome to another Airbrush 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about using your airbrush and having a great time doing it. Airbrushes are fun, they save a lot of time, they can produce some great effects. And this week, I'm actually going to show um, something I didn't actually think about until after um, a question brought to me by Warped. Um, I did a miniature painting one recently um, on how to do chibi light halos in the hair. And uh, Warped asked me if there's any other ways that I know of being able to do it, and I thought, yeah, an airbrush would actually be a really cool way of doing it, even on smaller miniatures, was the question. And obviously, like the chibi that I used in the miniature painting one is a huge miniature. What about something much smaller, like this guy? So, that's what I'm gonna do. This week's Airbrush 101, I'm gonna show you how to paint a light halo on uh, this particular miniature, and I'll be using my Sotar 2020. Now, the reason why I'm using my Sotar 2020 is you really want a nice, thin stream of paint, so you wanna go with a fine, detailed airbrush. Now, I'll be using the same color of paints that I normally do. Um, I'll be using just a color a variation of grays to create the light halo effect. And uh, as always, use a mask, use gloves, protect your lungs, protect your hands, and have a fun time doing it. I'll show you, it's a really cool application of an airbrush. You didn't think that you could actually do really cool hair with your airbrush. Cool stuff. So let's get to this week's airbrush on one. Hey everyone, so this week I'm gonna do a light halo on this miniature that has uh, textured hair. I thought it'd be really cool to do. So uh, we're gonna use this, uh, my Sotar 2020. And the key is for this is obviously, first of all, you want it to kind of map out in your head where the light halo is happening. And the easiest way is like, look at this light source right now. Him standing up, my light source is hitting him. You can see the top of the ridge right here. It's really the light halo. Turn it, you can see that. All right, this is not only being produced by my paint, this is the light source. And we're gonna mimic that in our head and, or keep that in our head and mimic that with our airbrush today. Now obviously, you don't want to ruin the face. If you worked on the face and the eyebrows already, you want to ruin that. So we're going to start off, of course, by masking the miniature. We want to just mask the face because, frankly, you don't want to ruin the paint job, right? That's just the point of masking. So I'm going to take some, some silly putty, by far the easiest way to mask the uh, paint job and let's mask off his face so we're just going to quickly do a band and the best part is about this effect is that obviously we won't actually have to get near the face so we can just do that right now look at that and that's okay because none of this part will be having the light halo so look at that it's because light halo will be focused on the top of the head That. So he's masked off. Now it's time to get started, and as always, I'm going to wear a mask. So we'll just turn it on and get going with the light halo of his hair. Let's do that. So now that it's all masked off, I start off with a little bit of gray liner just to paint the uh, the very bottom parts of the hair. I really want to build up a bit of a gradient of color, and then add some rock. These are both colors from Reaper, uh, sorry, from Minotaur. That's okay. You can just use any colors, you know, dark and just mimic the same pattern. So all I'm going to do is increase the uh, the lightness by adding more and more of a light gray. And then with each step, I'm going to basically just trace that halo around the hair. Uh, obviously, the first part is to take note where exactly it is. And then just with each band, you want to go thinner and thinner along the more central parts of the hair. Now, in the end, I do accidentally overspray the hair, which you will notice based on the angle. Maybe I should have double masked it. But that's okay. So if you end up overspraying, I'll show a tip at the very end, which easily fixes the situation which is essentially just hitting it dead on from the top and building back up a gradient. So all I'm gonna do is add more gray liner and trace this path along the hair. Now, once again, the key is hold the miniature up straight, obviously, and, and trace the path around the hair. Now you wanna hold the, the miniature at a consistent angle straight on, uh, straight up. That way you can always uh, mimic the light pattern. And obviously you just use the light hitting the model as a reference. And with each step, as you can see, I'm uh, painting a lighter and lighter halo around the hair, but I do accidentally overspray a, a bit on top of the head. So I'm gonna fix that up later on. 
So once again, just adding a little more rock to the mix and repeating this process with my airbrush. It's a very simple and easy process, but the key is you gotta have very, very fine trigger control to go thinner and thinner with each step uh, so you go more central with each step along this band of light around the hair. And it's actually a lot of fun to do. It's such a tiny miniature, but uh, Chibi miniatures are really awesome because of their large heads and really animated features, so it's really easy to take advantage of this uh, and paint it really with well with your airbrush. So now I'm just gonna mix up, and this is just rock, so this is a light medium uh, gray. And I'm just gonna do a light, a very thin band. As you can see, with each step, it's becoming more and more apparent about the light halo relative to the rest of the hair. Uh, it's, it's, as you can see, I'm, I can move my miniature and the light, the light halo stays around the, uh, the hair. So as you can see, after this step, it's pretty much established because I've gotten the lightness done and it's, 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 the band is there, but I oversprayed the hair. As you see, the top of the, hand, the hair is way too light and now it's just a weird gradient. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my dark combination of just dark, um, so gray liner and rock, and I'm just going to carefully hit it from directly on the top from a direct angle and just build that gradient back up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just essentially Put in the the anti space around the um, the light halo and darken it as well, and I can do that on the bottom part as well. So I'm going to go on the very edges of the uh, the masking as well, and just very carefully cut back in that light halo and let that exist. And there it is. So at the end, as you can see, a clear light halo around the miniature. It was very easy to accomplish, and there's a nice gradient to color. In fact, I could have even gone darker with my gray afterwards. So there you have it. In the end, look at that. Definitely a light halo around the hair. Didn't take very long to do. Just did a continuous gradient of lighter and lighter colors, focused more central. But as you can see, that's not my light source doing it. That's clearly just a quick gradient. And you can do that. Look at that. Looks very, very anime style, very chibi style. Very happy with it. It looks very cool. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Airbrush 101 and did cool light halo. So there you have it everyone. In the end, it wasn't too hard. You just uh, quickly loop around the head with the airbrush going thinner and thinner bands with lighter and lighter colors. And then if you get too heavy, just clean off the top with a straight hit on the top and you end up with a really nice light halo that's really easy to accomplish and looks really cool. Very anime style, very cheesy style. So stay tuned for more episodes, Warpeds, and keep giving me suggestions and questions of what you want me to do in future videos. And I'll do my best to make sure every suggestion happens. Really hope you enjoyed this airbrush one. Stay tuned for more videos and like some with Jason. Happy painting with.